Welcome back, everyone. As promised, it is now March. The gardens look great. I made a few changes. Oops. Oops. Let's jump in. Can I get in here? So we've got... We've got um, some tomatoes. We've got some sugar beet. We've got lettuce. Uh, sorry, these are the tomatoes. What am, I, what am I growing here? Potatoes. Potatoes, of course. And yeah, we've got some grapes and rinse repeat um, scattered out throughout. Basically what I did, let me jump over the fence. Ugh, there we go. Uh, basically what I did was I only put things into this garden that are used by these productions. And I use the other two gardens for other things. So I've been busy for the last, I want to say four days, uh, just doing this, just doing this. Walking over. Some of these can be carried by hand, so I do them by hand. It makes it a lot easier. Um, so this can be carried by hand, but this cannot. I can't pick that up. That can be carried by hand. So anyway, it's a little bit of a game here, but uh, we're just plugging away here, basically. Now, it is March, so I don't... Oops. And then you end up with tomato sauce before you put it through the production. Um, yeah, I didn't want to just do pallet work in this uh, episode because I did that a lot in a previous one. So uh, we won't get into it too much. I'm just, I just feel like I need to continuously feed these productions. We've got a lot of stuff to sell here. I want to start sorting it by where is the best place to sell it and I think I want to put a small shed over here by the by the fence um, just for storing this stuff properly I'm going to eventually switch this for a forklift I find a forklift easier to work with um, yeah I miss my little buddy from Comlands so I think we'll do that We'll make that switch at some point, but it's not cheap to do. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> have to have a look at our calendar and see what what can we do in March. I think we can drill at least one of our fields. We've got two big fields ready to go. It takes a lot of patience to play seasons, let me tell you. To sit and watch empty fields for four months is... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm almost done with this silliness here. Or am I? More potatoes. Oh no, sorry, these are sugar beet. This is all I've been doing for the last four, four, four game days. We'll get this finished up here. And then we'll have a look at the other stuff. I haven't looked too carefully. This is grapes, so it goes on this side. I've got my trailer here ready to go for some deliveries. I did sell a couple of odds and ends. I think I had a pallet of cotton and a pallet of corn or something. I just sold them to get them out of the way. The cotton seems to make good money, so let's just jump over here for a minute. So this garden is all cotton. And we've got one pallet. Uh, this keeps going. This is perpetually... I can't pick these up, though, so I have to get the forklift slash skid steer for that. And this guy up here has all, all strawberries. I'm only growing strawberries in here. So, what are we doing today? What are we doing today besides walking around talking? Um, let's start with our calendar. We can put in a lot of stuff at this time now. So, uh, wheat, barley, um, can go in. Uh, oats can go in. I think we're going to do one field of oats, for sure. Um, and then corn, sunflower, soybean, sorghum are next month. So April, so that's two game days. Grapes and olives, we don't not really set up. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, I don't think, in this series. So 
What about these guys? I don't, do I really want to get into these? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, potatoes and sugar beet. Now, the problem with these is um, it's more equipment that I have to get, but this can be lucrative, especially considering I have a production. Let me think about that one for a minute. Um, maybe some sugar beet. Maybe. So let's get a field of oats put in. And I gotta find all my stuff now. Uh, where did I put stuff? Where is my seed drill? There's my seed drill. Ugh, looks dirty. I have to buy some seed and I... Ooh, these guys might be out of food. Yes, they're out of food. I'm a bad chicken owner. So we'll do that. Um, we do have a little bit of pig food. So we Oh, we have food. I forgot. I forgot we have food. Nice. Can I pick either one of these up with my hands? No. Okay. Let's... Uh, we have food for them. Jeez, why did I let them run out? Uh, where is my... Oh, it's over. Over in the other area. There we go. Got some stumps that need to be taken care of. There's really not that many trees left. Maybe 10 trees. Alright, let's see if we can jump this ditch. I'll grab this to uh, take the bags. I guess I could have done it with the skid steer. Eh, let's go over. I guess we should really just get rid of the rest of those trees. Put them in the bank. Put the money in the bank. This uh, winter was kind of tough. We didn't make any money. Uh, we broke even uh, with our leases and our... Uh, oh, I can pick up pellets with this too, can't I? What if I even have a skid steer? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think we're going to make some money selling our skid steer this episode. Alright, let's see if I can just grab one of these. Yeah, come on. There we go. Why is it doing that? Doing weird stuff. Okay, that got emptied. And let's see if we need some more. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. Throw that. I don't think it's going to take all of this, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, it did take it all. Ran over a chicken. Um, chickens. Uh, productivity is zero. Oh, it would take a lot more than this. Okay. Uh, daily is 150, so we're good for three months, three days, I guess. And... It's really not that much for a year, is it? Okay. Okie doke. So, uh, fields, field work. Let's get on that, because I'm tired of moving pallets for now. Um, let's start with... Can I get up on that thing? I want to go sell this. I don't need it. Think I can do it? Oh boy. I think. No, I guess not. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. 
I am going to send this guy to the store. Besides being really loud, uh, I really don't need it. I can do stuff without this. Can I send this to the store? Let's see. I want the other tractor over as well. Great job, go to. Why is that not going to work? Their job. Position is blocked. Okay. Take our 13 kilometers an hour. We'll head over. Actually, you know what? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Let's get going with this. I'm going to leave the front loader here. We're going to use this to drill with. There's that field there, but I think I'll use... I think I'll do the field right, right next to the house. With oats. And then this field, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to do trigger bead in there. I don't have a planter though. So... Might be a, a little bit of an expense. This field here would be nice with oats, wouldn't it? I don't know if I have seed either. What do I have? This is full, so it might be okay. Okay, let's set up a course for this. Uh, oh, I don't have course play on this series. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what shall we do? We'll get started. We'll get started with uh, Edland, and then I'll get a worker on it. See if we can figure it out. This is uh, fully fertilized. Oh no, what did I do? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Just put more oil seed radish down. Okay, hang on a second. We gotta fix this up. A blooper every episode. I'm getting really good at this. Where's my cultivator? All right. I gotta recultivate up to the part that I did. I think we'll stay fertilized. I hope. Uh, how far did we get? Right up to here. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, I got out selected this time. I'll just do one headland, I'll, I'll go around. We'll set a worker on it and we'll see if what might need to get patched up after. I wish it was a different ground texture. It's a little hard to see where you've been, but it's not, it's the, you can see it, but... 
have to move that water tank. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. With the worker. We will use a worker for this. I uh, just want to get the headland done. I'm going to go sell our skid steer. So that should be, I want to say maybe thirteen to $15,000. We've got a bunch of products to sell, but like I said, I don't really want to do a ton of pallet work on this episode. Right, I'm just going to come around here and go a little bit wide. There we go. All right, worker. Okay. Elizabeth. Uh, may as well teleport. Uh, not that one, this guy. I do own this, right? Uh, that's not what I want. That is an owned, yes. I just realized there is one thing that I can do that I might have troubles doing with the, uh... With that bag grabber. Separating stacked pallets into two. We'll figure it out. I can always get pallet forks for that, couldn't I? Ugh, we finally made it. Okay, sell it in fork, sell that, and, and 13185, 49,000 now, that's, that's good, that's good, this is going well, we should have more than enough seed for this field I think. Let me go check on my other fields. Uh, this guy over here just needs rolling. Um, this guy over here is wheat and it's barely grown. And it needed plowing, so I'll get onto that once we, uh, yeah, once we harvest this, I'll, I'll do that. So that's going to be some straw there. We got this, our cool little baler here that we're going to put to work. So we've got to load some of this stuff up here. Um, this salad I can pick up by hand, I think. Yes. So I'm going to sort some stuff by hand if I can. And tomatoes I can pick up by hand. So let's put that here. Salad I can pick up by hand. Sorry, I'm talking out loud as I'm doing stuff. Fine. Okay, and this I cannot, this I cannot, this I can, but I can do this. Which is kind of strange, to be honest with you, but... Okay. So well, that's good. Potatoes I can do by hand. What about fries? Yep. And more fries.
Okay, I've got the first amount of pig food there. Oh boy. Okay. It's a lot of goodies here, isn't it? I should probably be sorting this by cell point too. Oh boy, it's not stopping, is it? Can I pick up that? Can I pick up this? No, I can pick up that one now. Do my goofy little trick here. Oh, more fries. And more potatoes. Anything else, guys? Okay, that's a pretty good haul so far. Yeah, I'd like a shed of some kind to store all this stuff. Um, okay. Let's check in. How's this going? That's going well. Okay, so I guess we'll start loading up some things. Uh, let's check prices. So, stuff I'm selling, um, sugar, honey's farmer's market, um, do, do, do. farmer's market for honey strawberries, uh, fries, potatoes, tomato sauce, and mixed salad. All the stuff I dragged out, I think, uh, can go to the market stall. So, let's get on that. Now I'm thinking, do I need to load it onto the platform at all? Why don't I just grab it and sell it? Oh, it's a little tight though. I pick all that up in one shot. Yes, I can. Okay, let's sell them like this. At the market stall. Strawberries are going to the supermarket, so we'll, we'll sell that. We'll load that up after. Yeah, this is going to work out better. If only I didn't have to sort it first. Salad. Oh, the top one's not really strapped in, is it? I don't think it's going anywhere, but it's not strapped in. Oh no, it is going somewhere. Okay, let me grab that. What's next? Potatoes and uh, well, shiny potatoes and French fries. Can I grab all of this? Nope. Nope, I cannot. Well, we've got about 4,000 bucks so far. I'm 
there we go. Yeah, this stuff isn't selling for much in this economy, is it? The button also sells at the market stall, which is kind of strange, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we do that or not. Oh boy. It might be hard to place the pallets on the trailer with this thing. Well, the bank account's going up, so life is good as far as that's concerned. We're not going to be a millionaire anytime real soon doing this, though, so we're going to have to figure out some more avenues. Uh, let's grab this one, throw it on top. And then see if we can... Ah, oh, come on. Get that one, too. There we go. The good news is we can get this, maybe not every month, but we can get a fair amount of regular income through this. Okay, now for the tricky part. I'm gonna load up stuff that's going to the supermarket. Honey and strawberries go to the farmer's market. I think all of this stuff here goes to the supermarket. up here and oh the pig food does not go anywhere it goes somewhere special I'm not sure how much food this is oh boy um This is going to go for our pigs. So we'll get some pigs, but I just want to get a fair amount of food in there before we start. And pig feed goes in here, I believe. I believe. Yeah, it's going down. What, every time it swings that way. <laughs> okay. Leave that open for now. thing about using this telehandler is it can handle a lot more weight. I could probably put thick stuff in with 
the straps would grab it. Okay, that was easy. And I'll put this one together with this one. a bit. There we go. Okay, this is going to be easier than I thought. Probably just jinxed it. So this is going to go to the supermarket. Let me just double check something else before I do that. Um, honey is farmer's market. There's too much to put everything on one load. And grape juice is supermarket. Uh, what else? Uh, farmer's market. Um, honey is farmer's market and strawberries are farmer's market. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, so off you go. There we go, straps in. Now the honey and the um, strawberries are going to, they're going to take up a lot of this cart. I'm almost tempted to buy an, a, a different, uh, different wagon. I am tempted. Did I end up buying a trailer? A bigger trailer? Nice to get one I can back up. I'm tempted to buy one on the way back. All right, you guys get to see my special backup technique again. Yeah, we'll buy a trailer. Yeah, 4,200 bucks. Uh, this is even better than last time. technique. Oh, I can't go over there, can I? Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. I'll be a total idiot. I'll just be a partial idiot. Go uh. <laughs> around this way. Hope this opens up to the road. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay. I didn't say this was a realism series. Although I might actually try that in real life. Let's stop on the way back. We'll pick up a trailer. We're gonna swap this guy out. I do need one that can take pallets, obviously. And I need one that I can also convert to for grain. I'm now thinking maybe I bought one. I'll have a look. We're up to 60,000 now. We might be able to do something pretty creative with that, though. 
be careful how much money I spend. Gonna get much for this thing. Nah, hardly worth anything. Fourteen hundred bucks after I spent a little money on it. Okay. Did I buy a trailer? No, I didn't. I didn't. I think I considered it, but I never got around to it. What can we get for cheap? Um, that is too small. I want something I could, could nah, that, I need one I can back up though. What about this guy? Just trust the old. It's not as big though. Oh, it's self loading too. I don't really want to do self loading. What about this guy? It's small. I want something a little bit bigger, but not expensive. Um, I could go with the trusty, where is it? Where is it? I could do larger Oracle. Eighteen thousand. Oh, wow. The smaller one's kind of really small. Hmm. What should I do, guys? Um. Four thousand. That's a lot more than I had before, I think. And I can do a bale trailer. And I don't need auto load. Maybe I'll do this. This is a bit smaller though, as far as pallets are concerned. That's what I'm worried about. I get it at eight thousand. It's eleven thousand bucks. Um. Let's start with this. Let's buy this. There we go. I bought it as a bale trailer. And uh, we'll try to use it. Well, I hope I don't have problems with this thing. A different kind of attachment. I didn't consider that. It's gonna be a problem. It's actually not that much, not that much smaller. Okay, I think we're going to be able to make this work. It is a bit of a pitch though, isn't it? Yeah, I knew it. The water tank got in the way. Let's go fix that up. I think this will work okay, this trailer. But before we do anything else, let's go get that water tank. Okay. Out of the way we go. That's not even full. Jeez. Wow, forgot about that post. Kind of blended into the dirt on the road a bit. Uh, we'll go up here. There's a section that got missed up here. Fix that up. Okay. Now 
we got honey and strawberries to go to the market. Kind of wondering if I shouldn't just use the, uh, I think I might just use the, uh, the telehandler for this. Okay, let's get the strawberries loaded first. We'll move this guy over here, turn off the beacons. Of course. Of course something else spawned. there. That's too close. Oh. Completely missed the boat there. Let's put this over here. The reason for that is I'm going to use a special squishing technique. Advanced technique, guys. Don't try this at home. There's a good reason for that. Oh, boy. Okay, that's what I wanted. Can those go sideways? Just worried about getting them all on here with... There we go. Oh boy. This is the beauty of a telehandler. I can do that. Oops. I think I'm going to do this for the rest this way. I think we're almost done with the oats. And I think we're going to get going with... How are we doing for time anyway? No, oh, clock's, clock's sticking hard. These are really lined up nicely, but... Eh, a little sketchy. I am going to backstop this with a strap and then I'm going to try to put this one up top oh I accidentally sold some strawberries oops forgot about that okay that is sketchy as can be. I 
Okay, now for the money. And where do I want to set up for this? No, I don't like this here. Oh boy. Let's set up over here. There we go. Give this a little shove. Uh, my little shove, I meant trying to get it a little flush. Don't do like me, guys. Oh, don't hit the button. together a bit. Can I do that? Yeah. Good. Fortunately, the second, the first stack is just as sketchy as the second st stack. They're all weird. Okay, you know what? That's enough. Is all of them? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at my pallet stacking skills. Not laughing. There it's, it's like a nouveau style stacking. Oh boy. the trees. Up. Okay. You know what? As long as it gets there, right? that resting on there. There we go. Perfect. What do you think, guys? How much better than that can it get? Not a problem. Okay, let's go sell all this stuff. A little on the right side there, weight-wise, I think, but it's fine. All right, so we need a planter. Uh, if we're going to do some sugar beet, um, we're going to need any sales on? No. We're going to need a cheap planter. I don't want to go off the road here, so let me get this up. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys up at the market. All right, made it to town. Saw a couple of pedestrians laughing at me for my stacking skills. There's a squirrel, too, that was laughing. Okay.
Great, let's sell some stuff. 5,700. Okay, so question is now, so I've got my trailer. Uh, I do need a planter. I don't need a fancy one. But, I, you know, if I do sugar beet, I'm going to not, not just need a planter, I need a, a harvester as well. And I kind of want to buy, I don't want to lease all the time. But that might be, you know, that we might have to do it, so. Alright, I'll see you back at the house. The nice thing is we'll be able to back it up and it can hold up to 12,000 liters um, if, we, if we modify it, so. Alright, let's run down here. I'm just going to have a look and see and make sure that I didn't miss too much. Interesting, the fence goes right up to here only. Okay, where are we? So, all this is good. We missed the strip here and a little bit over here. I think it's the same thing as last time. We only, we didn't even get through half the seed, so that's pretty awesome. I think we're starting right about here. Kind of hard to see the texture differences. Okay, and there's a spot over here which is probably right in the shade where I can't see it. Zoom in a bit. You know, I see a spot somewhere. Oh, I can't even tell where that is. Okay, well, we'll have to do without. We'll have to do without. No point going crazy over just a little thing like that. Okay, let me put this away. We have to make some plans. $58,000. And we're going to keep having a flow of money, which is really good from the greenhouse products. It's going to be work to do, though. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's start with land. I want to see if there's a piece of land that we could get. That might be worthwhile. This is 66, that's 41, that's 70. I really wanted to get in here, start getting in here. Uh, 48, 45. Is there anything in those fields? No, I don't think so. They're all, it's early spring, right? So, um, that's got barley in it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. We could get one of these to put soy um, sugar beet in. Like this guy here. The reason I, I'm attracted by this one here is it has a piece of flat land here uh, that we could put a placeable there. And then there's some trees here that can be harvested. And then there's a small field. So by having that, is there anything in there right now? Yes, there is. There's barley in there. Uh, is that barley? No, that's oats. Oh, my eyes aren't working. What is that? Yeah, my eyes are tired. What's going on? Let's go over and have a look. 
Oh, is it potatoes? Might be potatoes, guys. It's potatoes. So this field here, it's not a huge field or anything, but um, potatoes were just put in here. It's got these small trees, which could easily be um, harvested by hand, basically. And there's an area here for both placeables, or just extend the field out. Might be worth it. I'm a thinking about it. I'm a thinking about it. Uh, let's shop for a second. Planter. Or sugar beet. I'm looking for something obviously cheap. And these guys are quite good. Um, yeah, they're good value. 100 horsepower required. I have that. That's not a problem. Uh, this one is 110. It also fertilizes and is a direct drill. Ooh. Tempting, but I'm playing seasons. I don't like direct drills for seasons. Mainly because I like the oilseed radish angle. Uh, da, da, da. 106 meters. 12.5. I kind of feel like this might be the one here. This will fertilize. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What about these little guys? 20. 8,000. Okay. I got some stuff. 4,500. Ooh. That's cheap. What is that? 2.7 meters. That's not, not very wide, but might do the trick. Okay, I got some thinking to do. Um, let's figure that out. There we go. Two meters. Perfect. Yeah, we'll think. We'll think about it for next episode. Piece of land. I got to do a piece of land and. Oops, sorry about your fence. Um, I can do a piece of land and the um, the planter. That would be pretty sweet if I could pull that off. We got another field to plant, so we're not going to move ahead. Um, we're not going to move ahead. We're going to stay in March. We might move ahead to March 2nd, though. But we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, please consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you have a great, great day.